morning. Happy bright and early day after Christmas morning. As always, I'm filming today's video on Monday. It's 4.50 in the morning. I'm up. I am at boot camp. I actually just pulled into the parking lot. I got here a couple minutes early so I could say welcome to today's video. Boy, the holidays were a whirlwind. We had a really low key kind of chill holiday, which was really, really nice actually. For the first time in I don't know how long, I actually relaxed quite a bit over the course of not one, but two days. I am always so busy, I never have time to relax. And I have to say, staying in my pajamas until about noon on Christmas day, I'm definitely not mad about it. So I'm feeling really good, refreshed, ready to finish this year out strong. In fact, this morning when I get home, I am re-signing up with my fitness coach. She is going to be an intricate part of my 2023 goals. And I'm going to start planning and prepping for the new year. Like I mentioned in my goals video, if you haven't seen that I'll link it down below for you. I have some major goals for 2023 and one of them is to very much clean up my diet and go towards a whole food approach. So I'm going to be pulling some recipes for my January meal plan, whole food based. I share my meal plan in my Facebook group. So if you're not in my Facebook group, come join us. You can purchase a monthly meal plan, dinners, breakfast, lunches, snacks, really helpful to stay on track. And I really want to focus that on whole foods and then take my pictures, measurements, get all signed up with Steph so that I have a fitness coach in my corner for the new year. So yeah, I've got a lot going on today, but I'm ready. I'm ready to finish 22, 2022 out strong and get completely ready to just hit the ground running in the new year. So I am going to grab my weights, my mats, do boot camp. When I get home, we'll have some breakfast. Oh, I did have my protein coffee this morning, about half of it. The other half is in the fridge, so I'll finish that while I'm getting ready. Then we'll make some breakfast and get started on our day. So welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. Good morning. It is time for some breakfast. I'm hungry. I just finished getting ready for the day, was kind of deciding what I wanted to do for breakfast, and I forgot that I had these in my freezer, and it has been a long time since I've had these. These are from the brand Lahi, Lolly. Lolly. These are the morning protein bites. It says all natural chicken sausage, cage-free eggs, sweet potato, yellow squash, kale, and caramelized onions. You get four of them for 130 calories, 10 grams of protein. So I'm going to have four of those. And then I'm going to have a Chobani zero sugar yogurt with some freeze dried fruit. I've been eating this every day. It has become a major, major staple for me. I love the crunch that the dried fruit gives it. And I have the banana and strawberry fruit crisps. I just bought these off of Amazon. There's no added sugar. So I actually count these as zero points. And then the yogurt's only one point. So it's a one point snack. And again, it just gives it a really, really good crunch. So I'm going to do four of those yogurt and freeze dried fruit. Also, last time I wore this shirt, you guys were asking where I got this. I actually got this off of Amazon. So it does have this cute kind of bunched side here, which I really like. And then it has the one shoulder strap, which I also like super cute if you wear your hair up. So I'll link this down below for you. It comes in a whole bunch of colors. I decided to get purple. I really like purple and I was trying to add a few more pieces to my wardrobe, but this is super cute, super soft, super comfortable. And I also love that it's long sleeve. So here's my breakfast. I have my four little morning bites. These smell so good. I just threw them in the microwave. You could also throw them in the oven, the air fryer. They are so good. I forgot how good they are. So I'm glad that I kind of rediscovered them in my freezer. And then I have my Chobani yogurt. Look at that yumminess with the freeze dried fruit. So this is going to be a really high protein, healthy breakfast. So I'm sitting here doing some work in my office and I just mixed up my 6 a.m. run. This is something I take after all of my workouts. This is it right here. I've been getting a lot of questions, seeing lots of posts about what I take post-workout and why, really what supplements I take in general. But this is the one that I take every time I work out, whether I'm lifting weights in the gym, going to boot camp. This is about half gone. I have two or three of these all the time because I love them. My favorite is the watermelon. The lemon lime is really good, but the watermelon, the watermelon is so good. It has BCAAs in it, helps with muscle recovery, joint recovery, soreness, just helps alleviate a lot of the water weight that our muscles hold when we break it down so we don't see that big jump on the scale. It's just 
really such an amazing product. I just put one scoop in my Lululemon water bottle with some ice, shake it up. So I'm going to sip on this. I will actually link 6 a.m. run down below for you with 20% off. And let me know, are you guys interested in seeing a video about what supplements I take and why? If you are, that's definitely a video that I can put out. I do take quite a few different supplements and I have a very regimented routine for a reason. So if you're interested, definitely let me know. But I am going to sip on my water, do a little bit more work on my computer and then we will have a morning snack. So as I mentioned, Troy and I didn't really exchange gifts this year. We didn't exchange gifts with my mom, my in-laws, really anybody because we kind of just buy what we want throughout the year. We did pick up some lottery tickets, about $60 worth, scratched all of them, ended up losing half and we did make it back about $32. But I have treated myself to a few things and one thing was actually a recommendation from one of you. So thank you to Sharon, my subscriber, She's part of my Facebook group. She's part of my challenge group. She recommended the Lumen. If you guys haven't heard about this, this makes my weight loss nutrition coach, coaching heart really, really happy. This is a metabolism tracker. This is what it looks like. It's this tiny little handheld device. This is the coolest thing. You used to only be able to track your metabolism at a hospital. It was a test that you could pay for and do in the hospital. Now you can actually track your metabolism at home with Lumen. This is just a lot, this is data that I was really interested in, especially how our metabolism is affected by what we eat, the movement that we do, what happens with our metabolism when we first get up versus after, before we exercise, after we exercise, later in the day, after a meal, after a high protein meal, high carb meal. So when she mentioned Lumen and how much she loved it, I went onto their website and I picked one up for myself and I'm so excited. I've tried it out. I actually just did my first test this morning when I got home from boot camp. actually about an hour and a half after I finished working out. It was so easy, super easy to do. I actually downloaded the Lumen app on my phone. It walks you through it step-by-step step how to set up your account. You're going to enter your activity level, your age, your height, your weight. You're also going to enter in what workouts you typically do. And then it's going to walk you through step-by-step step how to, to get a measurement of your metabolism. It's going to tell you where your metabolism is falling, whether you're in one, two, three, four, or five. Now level one and two are fat usage levels. Number three and four are moderate carb and fat levels. And number five is a carb level. So where is your body utilizing energy from? Where is your metabolism day to day? How is it affected by your sleep, your physical activity, and your nutrition? It also gives you workout optimization, with I love and it gives you nutrition information so it's going to help you figure out what foods are best to eat for your metabolism it is going to give you protein carbs fat recommendations I still recommend having your personalized macros and calories done this is somewhat personalized but doesn't take into account everything like my personal macros and calories do you can go in and modify the numbers to what I give you which is what I did in mine you can monitor and improve your metabolic health so it's going to again track your sleep your nutrition your fitness data provide you with a flex score which basically reflects your success and helps you sustain results you can even track your cycle it is just the coolest device. It charges with the USB. I actually am going to plug mine in in my closet with my Apple Watch charger. Then that way I can make sure that I take my metabolism test every single morning before any exercise. It's a great way to improve your metabolism and figure out how your body gets stronger and fitter from working out. What you're going to find with Lumen is it's going to help promote natural weight loss, less snacking, energy and mood boost, improved overall health, and enhanced weight maintenance. I love that it's personalized. I love that it's all done in an app. And for me being so close to maintenance, this is going to be a huge key factor in my maintenance journey. I plan on giving you guys updates throughout the next few weeks on how Lumen is working for me. What am I noticing as far as the results that I'm getting? How is my metabolism working? I'm really happy to say that I'm in complete fat burn today, which isn't 
uncommon after working out and I haven't had a lot of carbohydrates today. You saw what I had for breakfast. I'm about to go have a morning snack. I am going to up my carbs a little bit for my morning snack. I really, really am loving this and I can't wait to utilize this in my health and fitness journey. I will link Lumen down below with a special discount for you guys. Definitely check it out. Give yourself a gift of health and tracking your metabolism and knowing where you are in your fitness and weight loss journey. This is going to be such an integral part of the rest of my journey and I'm so excited to have Lumen in my hot little hands and something that I can really focus on. So again, I'll link it down below with a special discount for you. Oh, side note, I think we're gonna utilize this throughout the day today. I'm going to go make my morning snack. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit more carb heavy. Then we'll test again on here and see if it changes anything. So let's have a morning snack and then we'll test again on our Lumen, see if it impacts anything. I'm really curious how the the foods that I'm eating and what I'm doing throughout the day impacts that. Super exciting for me. So I am going to have one of the chocolate Quaker rice cakes and then I'm going to do, I don't know if I'll do one tablespoon or two. We'll kind of see how it, how it ends up, but I'm going to use the Candy Cane Kisses peanut butter from American Dream Nut Butter. This is my all time favorite. I love everything about this. It is chocolatey. It is pepperminty. There's chunks of white chocolate, regular chocolate. It is so incredibly good. There's eight grams of protein, eight grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. And this particular one only has 150 calories for a two tablespoon serving. So less than regular peanut butter, and in my opinion, so much better. I will link American Dream Nut Butter for you guys too with a discount, but let's put together this post-workout or morning snack. Look at all the mix-ins in this. Oh, it's so, so good. It is my very favorite. I love all the cookie bits and that little bit of mint from the candy cane. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I love their peanut butter. They do have an almond, they have almond butter and cashew butter too. The peanut butter is my all-time favorite in this candy cane kisses one. Oh, I'm literally obsessed with it. So two tablespoons is 28 grams. Let's start with 14 grams, which is one tablespoon. Okay, so there is 14 grams. Let me spread it out and see if I wanna go for two tablespoons. Yeah, I'm going for two tablespoons. There we go, so 28 grams. So I did two tablespoons of Candy Cane Kisses Nut Butter on my chocolate rice cake. Look at all the bits, the chocolate bits, the peppermint, oh, it's so good. Amazing, I just got a big chunk of candy cane Makes my heart so happy. Definitely check out American Dream Nut Butter. They have a ton of options. And again, I'll link it down below with 10% off. So I'm gonna head out and get a coffee. I need to stop at the post office to mail off some stuff that I've been hoarding since before Christmas. But I forgot to show you guys that the Lumen also comes with a little travel bag that you can put this in to take with you. I'm so excited about this. So we're gonna go ahead, let me open it up on my app, and we're going to go ahead and test it just for fun since I had the rice cake with peanut butter about 40 minutes or so ago. So I went ahead and opened up the Lumen app. There's a little, it looks like a little wind symbol right here. That's what you hit to actually start taking your measurements. So it says you can do morning check-in before exercise after before eating, after eating, after fasting, before sleeping, or a custom check-in. So we're gonna do an after eating, and we're gonna go snack. Okay, it wants me to turn it on. There's a little on button right here. Let me take the lid off, turn it on, and it's finding my lumen here in the app. Let's go. Okay, so we're warming up. Inhale deeply. Hold your breath. Exhale in three, two, one. Okay, it's analyzing. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. So see what it says now? Now I'm a level four, the yellow, and it says you're burning mostly carbs, which makes perfect sense because I just ate that rice cake with peanut butter. So prior to that, I was in level number two, which was fat burn. Then it immediately will take me to my food log where I can log my food. Now I log in the Lose It app, so I'm not gonna log in here too, 
But that is really cool how accurate this is. It knows that I just ate a carby snack. So now I'm mainly going to burn through the carbohydrates that I ate versus burning through fat. Now, once those carbohydrate stores from the rice cake and peanut butter are burned through, it should go back to fat burning mode. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go run our errands, get our coffee, go to the post office. I'll take it again before I have lunch, see where we are. My lunch is going to be pretty protein focused and we'll take it again after that. So we're just going to do all the testing today. So far, I am thoroughly impressed with how accurate this is and how cool the information is. So I was just looking at this really quickly as I was closing it out and look what it says. This is exactly what I tell my coaching clients too. It says, enjoy unlimited non-starchy veggies. They're super healthy. So we'll show their carbs in green and they won't count towards your macros. So that's actually what I tell my clients too, is not to count non-starchy vegetables towards your macros because we should be eating them for all of their nutrients. And I love that Lumen is right on the same page. You guys need a Christmas whimsy before I go get my coffee. Don't we? Do we need a Christmas whimsy? Oh, say we got so many new treats for Christmas. So many. Hey, here you go, Lola. Um, <laughs> All right, bud, you're last but not least. All right, I have secured the goods. We have coffee. I actually just pulled into the gas station to get Troy a pop while I'm out. He is having some issues with his foot. It's really sore. He can barely put any weight on it. It kind of started yesterday and then it's progressively gotten worse. So his dad thought maybe he had plantar fasciitis. So poor guy. It's just an onslaught of medical issues. Speaking of medical issues, social security, I'll give you a quick update, but first coffee. So I went back to my OG, which is a iced Americano with two cream and three shots of sugar-free toasted almond. And then I get an extra shot of espresso. It's so good. And I wanted something less sweet after the holidays, you know, all the sweets and things. I kind of wanted to go back to my roots. This is a super low calorie, low point drink because the only points are the half and half in there. The syrup has zero points. So I picked that up. I'll sip on that, grab his diet Coke and then run to the post office. But quick update, uh, social security update. So we finally got denied. We finally got denied for social security. We actually applied in February and just heard back in November. So it took a long time to hear back. We moved in the process, so it delayed it a little bit, but we got denied. Honestly, I was a little bit surprised that he got denied. I really thought that he would have gotten approved the first time. So we have hired an attorney, a social security attorney, a really well-known one in Tucson. So he's working our case right now. We have filed an appeal. Social security has accepted the appeal. He did say that it's probably going to be another year. Before we hear anything, there's a possibility they could deny us a second time, but we have an attorney in our corner now. So hopefully that helps with the approval process. It just is really rough because Troy has no income. He cannot work. I mean, he's physically unable to work. So he has no income for the last few months and then a whole nother year. And we are paying COBRA medical insurance, which is $650 a month for him. So we're going to have to continue to pay that until we get approved if we get approved from social security. So it's just a big financial strain. So I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, not skipping through the commercials. When I post a link using my links and those that I get commission on, I really appreciate that. Coaching has been really great for me, great for you guys. It's been great for me. So I really appreciate all of your support because you're helping support my family and pay my mortgage since my poor husband doesn't have an income right now and actually is in the hole $650 a month with medical. So it's been hard, but we're making it through. And again, thank you for your support. I couldn't do it without you guys. And I'm so blessed to have this job and this platform so that I can support my family. So thank you again. So coffee, Diet Coke, post office. Diet Coke, check. Whew, it was busy in that gas station. People are still out and about after the holidays. So last stop for me is going to be the post office, which is a good thing because pretty crazy out today with all the traffic. I do have a couple coaching calls as well, and then we need to make some lunch. So let's go to the post office and head home. Okay, the parking lot is completely empty for the post office. I have a bad feeling they're closed today in lieu of Sunday being Christmas day because there would be somebody here. I mean, you would think at least one person. Yep. Well, dang and it. 
Well, good for them. Good for them for getting today off since Christmas fell on a Sunday. So, all right, well, we're heading home for the day. I'll just hit up the post office Wednesday when I go grocery shopping. All right, I'm gonna go in the kitchen to make some lunch. I just finished my coffee. So let's test this out, see what happens prior to a meal, then about an hour after a meal. Pulling up my app, going to the little breath symbol. We're gonna do a before eating. And we're gonna go lunch. Turn her on and we are ready to go. All right, let's see what we're at prior to a meal, post-snack, post-coffee. So now you can see I'm a three. So it says you're burning both carbs and fat. So that's good. So we went from burning just carbs to burning carbs and fats. Nobody's mad about that. So let me go ahead and go make some, let's put together our lunch. We'll eat and then we'll wait like 30 to 45 minutes after that and try it again. But for lunch, I'm having pizza. We had my in-laws over for Christmas Eve and my mother-in-law brought over the chicken artichoke pizza from Papa John's, the really, or Papa Murphy's, sorry, the really, really thin crust. So I'm going to have one full piece I think there's two pieces oh three pieces left so I'm going to have one full piece and then I'm going to scrape the toppings off of the second piece and just eat the toppings I do that a lot just so I'm not eating as much crust as much bread but I'm still getting all the protein from the toppings and then that'll leave one extra piece I also have some cut up cucumbers carrot celery left over from Christmas Eve and in my little uba home bowl which by the way I love uba home I'm actually going to use their pre-portioned plate for my lunch today. I'll link them down below with a discount. I love all their pre-measured, pre-portioned products. I did make a dip using light sour cream, light mayonnaise, and a little onion dip pack. It's really, really good. You can see the bowl has lines in it too for measurements. I just really, really love them. So again, I'll link the Uba Home stuff for you, but let me warm everything up and I'll show you my lunch. So here's my lunch. So I took the small piece of pizza, scraped the toppings off the big piece of pizza. I will just kind of guess the points, calories, and the toppings based on what they are. This is just chicken, bacon, artichoke. So I'll do my best to kind of guess on that. And then I have cucumbers, carrots, celery, and a couple tablespoons of my dip. So that is my lunch. All right, let's do another quick test on the lumen after lunch. All right, she's on. Purple light indicates that she's on. So after lunch, we're still a three, so we're still burning both carbs and fat. That's good news. So we had the pizza and the vegetables and the dip. None of that affected anything, putting it more towards burning carbs. We're still burning fat and carbs. Now, a portion of that is going to come from the fact that I worked out this morning. I, sh I will burn fat all day because of HIIT training at boot camp, which is strength and cardio. But it's good to know that by choosing the right food, so staying away from a lot of refined carbohydrates. I mean, the only refined carb I had was the one thin slice of pizza, the bread. Everything else was protein-based. There's some healthy fats in there. We had some vegetables. So it's good to know that that's about where we're falling. Palmer, did you get a Christmas frisbee? Palmer, Palmer, can you show daddy? No, don't, don't attack it. Palmer, look what you did to it already. Oh no, he's gonna ruin it. <laughs> Yeah, you're pretty cute over there. <gasps> Diesel, look at Palmer's baby. Look, he has a Christmas one. Bye. For afternoon snack, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm going to have one of my protein H2O waters only because I need a second protein supplement. I do two protein supplements every day. So I had my profi, my protein coffee this morning, and then I'm gonna do the strawberry banana protein water. I love these. These are the only protein waters I've ever found that I even remotely like. I actually really, really enjoy these. And it's going to give me 15 grams of protein for only 70 calories. I buy them on Amazon, I'll link them for you. 
And then I'm going to have a serving for some crunch factor, some sweetness, some Catalina Crunch. This is the Cinnamon Toast Cereal. This one's my favorite. You can have a half of a cup for 110 calories, 11 grams of protein. So I have protein water, protein crunchy snack, and that's going to do it for the afternoon. For dinner tonight, I am making spaghetti squash lasagna. So we're going to have spaghetti squash in place of pasta. We're going to add lots of good vegetables. It's going to be high in protein, so let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my gravity-fed salt and pepper grinders down below. They're off of Amazon, super affordable. You'll need some red wine vinegar, Parmesan cheese, ricotta cheese, your favorite marinara. I'm using Rayos. We like this one. It's nice, clean ingredients. You'll need some spinach. You can use regular or frozen. Mozzarella cheese, zero point ground chicken, spaghetti squash, and some garlic. not get the sticker off that squash so these four are going into the oven at 400 degrees they'll cook all the way through so that they're nice and soft so we can scrape out the insides and that's going to serve as our pasta I have my skillet sprayed with some non-stick cooking spray I'm going to add my meat break that up while it starts cooking and then we're going to add some salt and pepper We're going to add in a big scoop of min minced garlic and let it cook down for just a couple of minutes until fragrant. Add in your jar of marinara. Add a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And stir to mix. We're going to allow it to simmer on medium low heat for about 10 minutes just so we can meld all those flavors together. While the squash is cooking, we're going to make the filling. So I have one cup of low fat ricotta cheese, one half of a cup of light shredded mozzarella, a pinch of salt, and then your spinach. Go ahead and tear it up if you're using fresh spinach, just tear it into small pieces. Otherwise you can use frozen. And then give that a good mix together. This is the filling or the cheese portion of our lasagna. I just pulled the spaghetti squash out. I'm going to flip these over, I think, and we do need to let them cool a little bit. They're piping hot before we shred them. This might come out as total madness, but just wait. I really need Once to you shred the spaghetti squash, we're going to go ahead and put the shreds in with the cheese mixture. Then go ahead and mix the spaghetti squash in with the ricotta mixture. Now you have the option of putting this mixture back into the spaghetti squash shell, which is what I'm going to do because then we're going to put it back on the baking sheet, add our marinara sauce, and then you can pop it under the broiler if you want to melt and brown all of the cheese. If you didn't want to use the squash shells, you could just put this in a bowl or a ramekin that's oven safe and do the same thing. So we're going to divide the mixture out between our four shells. Then place them back on to that same baking sheet. And then we're going to top them with the marinara. I do have a tiny bit of marinara left. I don't want to overdo it, so I'm just gonna put that in a storage container. We can add it to it once we dig into it a little bit more. And then I have a half of a cup of the light mozzarella. We're going to sprinkle that on top. And then a quarter cup of fresh Parmesan. We're going to add that to the top as well. And like I said, you can put this back in the oven at 400 or you can pop it under the broiler to get that nice crispy cheese, the brown cheese. I think that's what I'm gonna do is pop it under the broiler. Look how amazing these look. These look so incredibly delicious. 
cheesy, full of veggies. Let me go ahead and plate these up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. So this is one of the lasagna spaghetti squash. I'm probably not going to be able to eat all of this, so I'll pop up here on the screen how much I did eat. This can make four to six servings. You can even do eight servings if you wanna split one of these and eat half at a time. I will go ahead and put all the information for dinner here on the screen for you. All right, for dessert, we're keeping it pretty simple. My friend Amy, when I was in New York, gave these to me. These are the Blue Diamond Peppermint Cocoa Almonds. She knows how much I love peppermint anything, so she gave these to me. They are really good. They're definitely mo more cocoa-y than pepperminty. The peppermint is pretty, pretty light in them, but they're really, really good. You can have an entire serving, which is 28 of them, for 160 calories. You're going to get five grams of protein as well. So I'm gonna have a whole serving. They smell so good. Good. So here's what they look like. So they kind of look like cocoa dusted almonds, but like I said, they just have a really subtle hint of peppermint. So I'm getting in some protein and some healthy fat. Hey, this might come out as total madness, but just wait. On today's what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my meals. Definitely check into the Lumen. This is the coolest thing ever. It's something I'm going to look forward to doing every single day and it's just another piece of the puzzle to my success moving forward. I'm really, really excited about it. I'll link that as well as everything else I shared with you down in the description box. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and I do upload five times per week. Everything is down in the description box, including nutrition coaching and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.